What's up guys, Admiral Numpire here again, and today I got something special for you. I recently bought the Issei, which is what this battle is currently playing in. I'm paired up with Krine and his Agincor, and Farmer and his Arc Royal. Let's get into this. So, the Issei. The Issei is a Tier 6 Imperial Japanese hybrid battleship. As you can see there, with the number 3 on it, this battleship will launch torpedoes as well as four main gun turrets. I'm kind of taking a good look at it and looking over at my teammates. And I'm going to head over to the western side of the map. So, this is my first ever battle in the Issei. And I had a lot of fun with this ship. I do like it. The torpedo planes load every two minutes. You get four planes that drop two torpedoes each. So pretty much an inverse of the FDR attack, where you get two bombers with four torpedoes. This is four bombers with two torpedoes each. Incoming Ryuja aircraft. Yeah, now there's a bug where they won't display the team names or the players out there, so. Oh, there's Amy Marblehead. Take a swing at it. Not used to playing lower tier, I'm used to tier 8, 9, and 10, so I don't give enough lead to the Marblehead. I still want to hit him because that is an Omaha, and Omaha class cruisers are made out of citadels. Take another swing at him, but he runs aground, so those shells are actually going to miss him. Oh well, I move on to shooting at the New York over there. Slowing my ship down to maintain cover, because I am going to launch my aircraft. And right for him. There's farmers dive or carpet bombers going after the enemy Ryujo over there. These planes are quite slow. But here I go. Torpedoes away. And now, shoot at him with the main gun turrets. Get back up to speed. Five torpedo hits into that New York. Plus two pens. And in quick succession, I've done over 15,000 damage to an enemy battleship. Looking over at the Marblehead again, who just knocked out our New Orleans. Or, New Orleans. Looking to line up the shot on him. Shells out. But RNG sends the shells high. 6,100 damage to him. Good hit, but if it had been lower, I would have killed him. There is the New York shooting at me. And the Marblehead is getting out of dodge. Yep. I can't shoot at him. So I'm going to focus on USS New York over there. Swing the ship around enough to get the fo all four forward gun turrets off. Shots out. Decent hit. Bounce most of the return fire. And launch more aircraft. Farmers coming in from behind. So this is the perfect opportunity for a cross drop on this lonely American battleship. Much better aim this time on my part. 
Tarps away. Yeah, so that bug actually goes with the battleships too. New York quite low. And now New York is down. Kill number one. Down a swing towards the east. And head southeast trying to catch these enemy ships. Shoot the marble head with the rear two turrets. He starts moving. That marble head was quite stubborn. It did not want to die to me. And see, there he goes. He ran aground, so he's going to dodge those shells. And Krein gets him. There's Amy Colorado. We are mid-tier. Although Krein is in a tier 5 battleship. He's behind me. You can see him on the mini-map. All four turrets out at the enemy Colorado. And here comes the enemy Rujo. My team trades a DD with the enemy team. And I missed the battleship. Take two torpedoes from the Ryujo. Go ahead and repair. Enemy plane lands on the flight deck of my battleship. Heading out with the aircraft because I can't really get a good line of fire on a battleship that I can't see. And my ship continues to sail down towards the enemy aircraft carrier, who's down in the J67 area. Up oh, there he is. He's been spotted by farmers, torpedo bombers. <laughs> Coming in on the Italian battleship. The Andrea Thoria. All four planes get their torpedoes off, and I'm going to have to deal with the enemy carrier attacking me. Another five torpedoes into another battleship, launch the main battery, take a eh, minor hit from the carrier. Another 6,700 to the Andrea Doria. Yeah, these say fun battleship to play, but she is quite slow. But that is to be expected from a World War One era battleship. And poor aim on my part. I didn't realize he was technically sailing away, so my shells end up short and going into the water. Incoming Ryujo attack planes this time. Go ahead and give the priority sector. And the Ryujo missed. Now as I continue to knock down more aircraft, I launch my aircraft again to attack the Andrea Doria. away. Taking some more minor hits from the battleship. Only one torpedo hit that time. And minimal damage caused by my main battery. Gonna go ahead and angle in against the Italian battleship. Because he can just simply switch to AP and probably do a fair amount of damage to me. But he's still firing the SAP. Go ahead and use my damage repair consumable. Only one penetration. And here comes the Ryujo again. Secondaries are opening up now.
And there's the AP, plus the torpedoes. That hurt a lot. But I put him down. Now I'm trying to angle away and start kiting. And coming the Ryujo again. He's now committed to trying to sink me because I am getting quite dangerously close to his aircraft carrier. Shots out at the October Revolution. And I put him down with a nice good 14k damage salvo. So instead of going after an American battleship with decent AA, I decide why not try to go ahead and hit the carrier with some torpedoes. There he is. He's a bit close to the island, so... But he is starting to move. Drop the torps into the water. Most of them hit the island. But still, two of them hit. Looking to try to get a nice, good salvo onto that York. I think the Ryujo is still new to the new mechanic on how the rocket planes work. Ah, four overpens on the York. Not a good hit. And I only got three turrets away. That last turret is a bit more difficult to get off. Aiming at the Colorado. Three turrets away. I can't really turn much to get the fourth turret because there's an island. But I do get it off. Only 1,700 damage there. And there's a defense expert. I've shot down over 35 planes. That pesky carrier still trying to kill me. Shooting at the Colorado again, trying to put him down before I go behind the island. More dive bombs coming in. Plane hits my deck again. And I put down the Colorado for kill number four. And now I'm hunting the Ryujo. Except that carrier is running. Turning into the torpedoes. Does not need arm in time. And I take no damage. Launch my planes to try to find the enemy carrier. And there he is. Fighters might have been a problem at one point, but my ship is so close, I just shoot down the fighters. And I drop torpedoes into the water for the Ryujo. I'm still chasing him. The only problem is my battleship is so slow. Half tempted to tell my crew to get the oars out and start paddling to go faster. Krine is right there with the Ryujo, but he is shooting at the Issei. And the Ryujo shouldn't pose much of a threat to Krine, especially since Krine's pretty much at full health. I shoot down another four planes, bringing me up to 59. And here are the Ryujo's secondary shooting at Crying. But he's committed to shooting at the Issei to help the Florida out. I'm rounding the corner. You know, at the speed that I'm able to. There's the Ryujo. Shots out. Most eaten by the island, and four overpens on the Ryujo. Secondaries are finally in range. Launch the torpedo planes again. What 
私たちの勝利が目前ね。一号線の先輩だったら。More torpedoes in the water. Shots out. And yep. There it is. As if the question ever was, who is my captain upon the Issei? Well, that gives it away. It is Isuruko Yamamoto. And now with him on board, activating second win, I now have a sub 20 second reload. Now I'm shooting at the Issei. Yep, I say it there in chat. This is actually my first battle with the Issei. Try to shoot down the Issei's torpedo bombers, but they get the torpedoes off on Krine. Krine was forced to turn out. So now it's just me and the Issei. Issei versus Issei. We've pretty much got this game completely in the bag. That T-22 is too far away to be of any use to the Issei. Go ahead and launch my shells. Start to turn in to minimize the return fire. Knock out a gun turret. There's high caliber for 128,000 damage. Lining up my shot because I got the improved reload. I'm going to beat him. Shots out. And that'll call it for the Issei. So yeah, not bad for my first ever match in the Issei. 130,000 damage, six kills, three citadels, 21 torpedo hits, a defense expert, high caliber, and Kraken Unleashed. End up at the top of the team with 2200 base EXP. And Gis gave the entire enemy team just a paddling. But yeah, uh, for those of you who do not have the Issei, it is a fun ship. And we do have Tier 6 clan battles coming up next season. And the Issei, I think, is going to be quite the popular battleship because it can be both a battleship and an aircraft carrier. So I'm hopefully going to be using it in clan battles. We'll have to see how things go. As always, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you think I've earned it, please go ahead and hit down the subscribe button and the like button, and I'll catch you all next time.